Hey everyone, how you doing today? All right, so we're gonna replace these rear struts in this 1997 Honda Civic. And uh, this is what we're working with. So it's good to look at the part before you install it. So it's a whole strut assembly. Spraying everything is all together, all right? And we're using a KYB part. And uh, uh, it's a KYB strut. Part number is gonna be, yeah, right there. So SR4042. And uh, this has a welded nut on. That's good to know. So I'm gonna go try to unscrew that. Right. Let me show you what we got. So under here, we got a this is the this is the deal breaker right here. Okay, so depending on where you live, right, you're gonna have a problem potentially with that and that bolt because these two bolts are the two that we need to unscrew, right? But there's a bushing in here. See that bushing right there? There's another one there. If I can't get these two bolts to break loose and not spin that bushing. I'm going to call off the repair and do one of two things. I have to order this entire lower arm. I don't know the name for it right now. Well, I'll try to get the bushings for the, the arm itself, press them out, and press them back in. Now, I sprayed this two days ago with uh, some penetrating fluid. Just give myself a, a fight in so I did both sides over there also, I sprayed that. I also sprayed up here, just in case I need to take these this out. So, all right, so we got the car jacked up. Jack stands there. And we're gonna go ahead and, uh, let's, try to, let's just mark this. All right, so I got a little marker. And we're gonna, this is, this is the, oh, that's great. That's B for back. So it kind of like, can keep the uh, orientation. Yeah, those are not great letters, but they're stuff. It's gonna help us with the orientation of this uh, when we put it and make sure everything is uh, facing the right direction. All right, so you can see over here, I'm on the passenger side. All right, okay. So if you look here, you can see how damaged this is. So, whole thing is all shot out. So this needs to be replaced. Now these are 19 millimeters. Okay, so I want you to kind of watch the bushing right here. Right, and then I'll try to see if it's if it's gonna spin or not when we uh, unscrew this. So hit it a couple times with the impact. Definitely coming out. The bushing's not turning, so this is good. Let's hit this one. Check this one out. See if this one's gonna come out. Also. That was a little, a little more stuck. something else. There, we're gonna try something a little different. Let's get a little bit more leverage on this. Okay. Ugh. Well, that's hard. Let's go. I'm gonna 
tighten and loosen, tighten and loosen. Tighten it up. Trying something a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oops. Right, let's try a bigger half inch. Not willing to come out. Okay. All right. So we're trying the most powerful impact to have, Thor. Let's see what we got. You gotta be careful because I don't want to strip this or break it off. And Thor. Thor has been known to do that. So let's see. Get a couple taps here. Not really moving much. Point, right, I have to make a call. Let me try one more time. Yeah, all right, so. Yeah, this thing's not coming out without a fight. So at this point, right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to stop this repair, right? I'm gonna make a reassessment. I'm gonna order two bolts, four bolts, I'm sorry. Two for both sides, because I don't know if this side is gonna be the same as that side, right? And then I need to um, figure out whether I'm gonna get the bushings for here because these these bushings are gonna get ruined or do I get a new arm you know I gotta figure that out so yeah that's what we'll do stop here we'll bring it back whenever we get those parts so it's been a couple days I ordered this part here um, it's lower controller arm and the rear 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 facing forward lower controller arm I got these bolts and uh, I'm going to try to heat this up today, see what we can get moving or not. So we're going to use the induction heater.
30 seconds. That's amazing. So it's got to get a lot of heat on it. I recommend the induction heater only because you can control the heat. You don't want to burn anything else up. But a map gas, map gas will also work. So I don't know if you can see it, but in here, a bushing's pretty shot. So. That would make sense. So I forgot to do this. Um, if you want to check your part, see if they line up. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, it's the same. It's just the same part number for both sides. Uh, you just flip it around when you get to the other side like this. Uh, so I'm on the passenger side, rear America, and. Um, <clears throat> And that lines up so we know that that broke free right from day zero this one we got loose we just got to see if we can continue to pull it out this bushing's ruined because of the uh, the heat that I applied it just you know melted the rubber this one we haven't pulled out yet so let's try to pull that and see what we get I'm gonna use the breaker bar. It's also a 14 mil, so. Let's see if. Uh, so we can get on here. Come on. Alright. Yeah, that definitely turned. Yeah, we're good with this one. Yeah, that, that turns. Okay. So we're all good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight with this one, pull those off. All right. So we'll do this by hand at first. Just to get a feel. Yeah, that feels kind of tight. Mm. Not as loose as I thought it was. So this is being a real pain in the butt. Just try to break it free off offline. No. Uh, it just keeps on like fighting with me, so I'm gonna heat it up again. Do it for like 30 seconds. Jesus. Check and see if she's coming out. <clears throat> yep, definitely. Okay. Okay. So I think we're good here. Try to throw the impact on it. Coming. Get me bolts, people. 
bolts are gonna get ruined. Probably wanna do the screwdriver underneath. See that? Let's get that out. Okay. There you go. Just say like that. I'm gonna leave it this orientation and mark it. Put it like this. I'm gonna mark it with the marker, just in case I need to go back in time. So I just want to kind of line up. See, so I wrote B right here. This is the back. This was facing me. And uh, I just want to kind of line these up. So you see now the bolt holes are all lined up it, versus like something like this. You know, you install it like that. It's all backwards. So just double check like that. Okay, so that we know this is going to be the back side. All right, so here's, here's my new bolt. This is the old one. There's a part number for it, the new bolts. It's 90173SR3003. Okay, so that's our new bolts. We're gonna use our new bolts and discard the old ones. And I got six all together. One, two, three for this side, three for the other side. Uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to, say I labeled this here, put these dots. That lets me know this is going to be facing the back. And uh, we're going to put some grease inside of here. And uh, some copper anti-seize on the threads. Hopefully there's not going to be a shootout happening anytime soon, but there's some beef happening in the background. Neighbors, drugs. Pray for me, my friends. Pray for me. Alright. Let's get this started by hand, because you don't want to, you're not trying to cross thread anything. You know what I mean? Okay, that's definitely hooked onto there. And that's gonna go into there. Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and get this 
the main source of our dilemmas out of here. Okay, so we can get this panel exposed here. So we got some clips here we gotta pull off. Before we do that, let's get this seat down. So go in here. Because we had to get this booster out of the way. Because there's a bolt down here we need to pull out. So Alright, so can you see that? Yeah, there's a 10 millimeter right here. Can you see that? Okay, so this is what I got. 10. Magnetic 10. This uh, articulated universal joint. Little wobble extension here. A regular uh, extension on top of that. So I'm gonna lift this up. Try to get in there. It's not the best design when it comes to service. So this is going to be the uh, hardest part, I think, of the job. Because, well, I mean, if you have some bolt that's rusty, that's going to be hard too. Okay, and there we go. That's the prize. Looks like that. So we need to go up. So it's an uplift, see? Right. And that's those tabs. That was this tab here and this tab down here. And uh, the screw was inside of here. There's a mark already there. I don't know what for, but I'm just gonna do one like that. Just let me know that, that was facing forwards. And uh, get those out of there. Those are all 14 mils. So. These are all 14 mils. Don't touch that one, only the outside ones. So. Okay, that's gonna drop, and then I'll also tell you. All right, so here's our new part. Here's our old part, right? Um, okay, so you can see right here how damaged it is. It's all worn out. Um, so we got this mark. Remember, forwards here. This is uh, this is facing back. There's a welded nut. So the welded nut's going to be facing forwards towards the driver. And so it's going to pull these off here. It's gonna go like that. All right, don't forget to get your bolt ready. Sorry. I don't know if you heard that, but those are gunshots. I don't know if they got recorded or not, but either way, there's a lot of violence everywhere. So I'm gonna put that bolt cut. Okay, 
I want to kind of leave this loose because we're going to lock everything down underneath. All right, but we could tighten this up a little bit more, but not a whole lot. So, don't go crazy. There you go. Still kind of loose. Perfect. We're going to tighten it up from underneath. Okay, that's definitely caught. Okay, so now right, we need to kind of push this up, right? So it's not we can't do it by hand. I'm not that strong, right? To line this bolt up. So we'll do it with the jack. Play around with this for a little bit. Try to get it lined up. But that. This right here. And this here. This one we need to screw into. See right there. Where the light's touching. That's where I need to screw into. So I gotta try to catch that. Okay. So let's talk about what I had to do. So I had to put these two in, right? And then I just raised this up until this, I could see through the hole right here that it would line up. I had to turn this a little, a little bit this way inside the bushing, turn it this way towards the rear of the car from the top. And then I was able to get this to line up. I did it all by hand so I could feel it. And uh, you want to do that because uh, you don't want to you don't want to strip it out. You know what I mean. So these are going to be uh, these three are going to be 40 newton meters, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll torque those down. But before we do that, we want to kind of load the suspension. So we'll take our jack here. We're going to jack this up just until. It lifts up off the car, off the jack stand. Just a little bit. All right, there you go. So now it's off the jack stand. Now we're going to torque these down to 40 Newton meters. That's 40 newton meters. start this off by hand this is a magnetic socket highly recommend it all right this is gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt you get the point struggle with it for a while Good luck. don't use any power tools get started by hand. So, give you a little tip here this right here look right here that's where my finger is that is where the screw goes in so you can kind of See what I'm doing here. So, so you can kind of see, I'm sorry, so you can kind of see if it's angled correctly. See it's like cocked. Not and then you can kind of you can kind of tell, oh, it's not lined up. 
and then you can get it lined up. Just like that. Cool. There you go, now it's actually screwing in. All right, use that. That'll help you with the alignment because it's super awkward. All right, so I wanna show you, this is the driver's side, how I did it. So we got those bolts and that one's in, that one's in. I know, hand tightened, right? They caught some threads. Okay, so I wanna get this. This one's a pain in the butt. I got some grease inside of it. Just gonna put some copper anti seize on this. Next, yep. you put on your thing. Okay, thanks, Drew. Uh, anytime, man, not right. a problem. All right. Okay, so this is how I got it in, right? Got it lined up. So I got those two bolts, that one, and this one in, right? Over here, right? You can take the jack stand. And you kind of got to go up, down, up, down, up, down, right? But you want to use this, like something, to align it. So to get it kind of lined up like this, you push that through, right? Push it through. Come around here on this side. So right, right in here. There you go. Yeah, see this right here? So you just kind of push your screwdriver in. All right, and you can kind of, right there, there's a screwdriver. So now you, near, you, know, you know you're close. And you can just slide the bolt in. Try to work with that, okay? That's, that'll help you line it up. This is a pretty easy job. I hope that you uh, learned something. Hope you see uh, the challenges that are involved, uh, depending on where you live. I would say if your car is like, Above 100,000 miles, just get get both of those parts, that lower arm and the dampener, rear strut assembly. That's what I would do. And uh, just off a pet cat. The cat likes to hang out with me. I do stuff. Either way, hey, listen, hope you like that video. Uh, just to let you know, in a perfect world, the driver's side was actually better. It was pretty easy to do. I didn't have any seized bolts. It took me like about, uh, uh, I think like 20 minutes. Uh, the challenge is just getting that thing lined up, uh, the, the, the lower arm lined up, lined up and also the uh, bolt for the uh, seat. But if you just keep the tire off, look through the back part uh, of the, um, where the wheel well is, just look back there and uh, you'll be able to see that bolt lined up. All right, well, thanks for hanging out. Um, pretty easy job. I recommend you uh, future-proof it with some like anti-seize and some grease in the bushings. And uh, other than that, uh, everything should last well for your next repair. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Hope you liked it. Uh, if it wasn't good enough, give me a thumbs down. If you think there's something better we could do, go ahead and leave a comment. Other than that, I'll see you next video. Thanks again. All right, so this is more of like a bonus footage. I wanted to just try to see if I can press these out. So this is a 20... 26 millimeter socket, right? Just kind of fits very nicely. A little, It's a little less than the um, bushing. This is the bushing for the, uh, the dampener uh, strut assembly. Uh, and... Uh, it's a little bit wider in diameter than the other two on the outside. And uh, those two on the outside are, are the exact same bushing. So what I've done, I've just kind of lined this up so it's a little bit 
It's like right in the like as centered as possible, but it's a little less than the Baron itself. We're just gonna push down on it and see if we can actually push this out. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Well, there you go. I think that's a yes. Um, wow. Okay, so I, yeah, it's gonna work. It's a little bit, uh, I gotta readjust. Hmm. Wow, I think it's really in there. That's cool. It'll come out, that's the good part. So let's, uh, it's a little bit off-centered. I just wanna. All right, so I kinda just uh, pull the socket out as centered as possible so it actually will go all the way around. Just check the diameter of it. Looks good. It's still a 26 millimeter. I didn't go to 25. Let's see if we can push it all the way through. Yep, it's going. Perfect. And that's your culprit right there. That's your bushing. I wanted to push it out, get a 26 millimeter, and go for broke. Okay, so these bushings are the ones that are on the outside. These are the same ones. This is the one that was uh, on the passenger side that pretty much got destroyed. Uh, so if you want to push these out, we're going to use a 20 millimeter socket. It's uh, this one's by uh, Wright, and I'm just kind of put it. I'm going to use this side because it's a little easier to. Uh, get this on and line it up because I have to fight with the bush in a little bit to like push it over because it's no longer centered. Okay. And uh, so now we got a 20 millimeter on there, right? I'm pushing from the other side now. Before I pushed on this side, um, I'm gonna push from this side. I don't know if it matters, but uh, we're gonna find out. So, just gonna Kinda see what. All right, so just kind of like I just turn the plates around so to close up the gap, and uh, we're gonna try to uh, press this out now. Let's see. It's working. Here's your prize. So that pressed out quite nicely. So, here you go. If you want to press them out, if you can buy these bushings, that's how you do it. I, uh, I couldn't find the bushings, otherwise I would have done it this way. Just pressed it out and pressed it back in. So, all right, now you know. You got the sizes. Get yourself a hydraulic press. Get the most amount of tonnage you can buy. They're not that expensive, but they're highly worth it. You don't use them often, but uh, they're super, super useful for so many things. So get yourself a hydraulic press. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye.